the head of Libya's rebel movement has sacked the entire executive committee, which functions as a cabinet. It follows the assassination of the commander of opposition forces last month. Members of the National Transitional Council, Libya's highest rebel authority, support the reshuffle, saying they hope it will stem any crisis in their ranks. Let's get more on this from Stephen Lenman, author and blogger, joining us live from Chicago. Uh, what do you think? Is there a crisis in the rebel government? Well, I think there is, Anissa. Can I make one comment? Uh, there are wars going on across Europe. You reported on, on what's going on in London. Uh, across Europe, in America, in Israel, against working people, driving millions of them into poverty. There are imperial wars going on abroad. These are Obama's wars, Iraq, Afghanistan, Yemen, Somalia, and Libya, the topic today. The Libya war is extremely ugly. Indeed, the rebel camp is in disarray. The executive committee was disbanded. There were unconfirmed reports that the rebels were in such disarray that they were literally contesting among each other. And the rebel, the uh, uh, transitional council leader, Jabril, fled to Egypt for his safety. There's no confirmation of that, so I certainly can't say. Uh, some people call it a stalemate. Others say NATO is lost. I've written that NATO is lost. Uh, there's no possible way NATO is going to win this war militarily, but they certainly can win it by imposing extreme hardships on, on the Libyan people. There's an AFP report out overnight in the city of Zlitan, uh, NATO bombing killed 85 villages, 32 children, 32 women, 20 men, 12 families were massacred. NATO claims we're not targeting civilians, we're not killing civilians. They admitted one quote unquote mistake. NATO is targeting civilians. That is part of the strategy. Overnight or in the last 24 hours, NATO knocked out power facilities in Tripoli. They bombed the water system, Libya's great uh, man-made river system, to deprive Libyans of fresh water. This is part of the strategy. Bombing hospitals, bombing schools, bombing a university. If that's not killing civilians, I don't know what is. And a recent report published by 50 experts says there's no military solution to the crisis in Libya and that change isn't likely for two or three years, uh, which of course would mean hundreds of billions of dollars. What's your take on that report? I think it's very possible. But once, once a plan is made, and th this conflict did not begin last February, and, and the bombing, of course, began in March, this conflict was planned many, many months in advance of that, maybe years in advance of that. And once, once there were many plans made that sit on the shelf gathering dust and they're never implemented. There have been talks about wars against Iran for years. I know there are plans that have been made, but nothing has ever happened. Maybe nothing ever will happen. But once a campaign begins, and this campaign began last winter, and then the bombings that began March 19th, uh, NATO, meaning Washington, is in it to win. They may lose the first round. I honestly, I honestly see this playing out, and I have no way of knowing, like the Balkan Wars of the 1990s. They went on throughout the whole decade, uh, didn't succeed until finally in 1999, the horrendous war that went on, I think, for 72 days against uh, Serbia and, uh, and Kosovo, literally destroyed the ability of Serbia, especially Belgrade and other Serbian cities, to function, destroyed the entire infrastructure. I see this going on in Libya right now, in Gaddafi held territory. NATO may not win this round. They may pull back. They may go through so-called negotiations, but they will come back and they will do more until they prevail. Probably they will in the end, but the initial round, I think they've lost.
All right, Stephen Lenman, author and blogger from the Center for Research uh, on Globalization on the line with us via broadband from Chicago. Thank you very much for that. Thank you.